Hello, this is a quick video on how to make a retro style pixel art uh, texture in Blender. So firstly, when you're unwrapping, you wanna make sure that you use conformal settings on the unwrap method. Uh, I tried with the angle based and it just makes them all rotated, which is not a problem when you're working with high resolution textures, but for pixel art, it does become a problem because a lot of them will be crooked. And then you can sort of rotate out any of your planes as well. I also recommend trying to use as many seams as possible. I did not use a seam where the wood touched the metal on the shotgun here, and it did cause an issue with a little bit of uh, bleed on the edge. Go ahead and create a new texture. I use the slightly blue texture as a base just because every time I make a gray one, it blends into everything else in Blender, which is also gray. I recommend a size of 64 by 64, but any increment of um, uh, 16 by 16 in smaller cases, 32 by 32, 128 by 120, all those work fine. That's just what I did for the shotgun. Switch to the texture paint layout at the top and change some of the viewport shading things. I changed the lighting to flat. I changed the color to texture. I messed with the background a little bit, setting it to viewport in a different color just so I could have like something that's more interesting than gray to look at. And then I also turned on cavity at the bottom. I turned off ridge and then I just turned valley down a little bit. That helps with differentiating your uh, texture at the beginning. Because when you set it to flat textures, you don't really have any lighting to, to differentiate different points on the shotgun. So that helps with that. To make a custom brush, just click, click new on the brush settings when you're in texture paint. And then go down to the texture options and hit open. I will link the PNG I used in the description. It's just a square brush. I like it for texture painting because you can get some more interesting angles in like a basic circle. Go into the texture mask settings and make sure that mask mapping is set to view plane. Go into the fall off options and then set it to the, the square option at the end for a constant fall off. That makes it so that you don't have unnecessary blending. It's good for pixels. Start throwing down the base colors of whatever you're working on. And then start adding some highlights and shadows. It's good to change up the colors. If you just go linearly darker or linearly lighter, it'll look really boring. But adding some darker blues to the shadows on the metal and then adding some reds to the shadows on the wood is going to make it look a lot more colorful. I personally am using a drawing tablet where I set the strength enabled so I can I can do a little bit of blending with the drawing tablet. I also do not use the radius enable just because it makes it harder for me. But you can do this with the mouse as well. It just might be a little bit harder to get some of that blending. You're going to have to do some more manual mixing. Once you start to get more of the highlights and the shadows in, I recommend going over to the left hand side where you just see the texture and trying to like fill in the gaps where you have like pixels that you can't reach in the viewport. It's really hard to reach under the crevices on the shotgun and fill those in with colors just because they're in really awkward positions. I spent some time like darkening the inside shadows so that it looks good without lighting. You can differentiate different parts of the shotgun. I darkened the barrel and inside of it. At this point, it was really just like touching it up a little bit. But yeah, that's mostly it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. If you want more Blender content, let me know in the also in the comments. Like and subscribe for more, more epic Blender texturing and more epic Blender tutorials. This is Bump Muncher Seven uh, signing off.